Now I think it's safe to say that if you're more than likely watching this video then chances are you are probably a fan of the Jeepers Creepers franchise and just like many of its fans throughout the years including myself and probably including you then chances also are that you're extremely disappointed in what happened to the overall franchise following the events of Jeepers Creepers 2 which in hindsight when looking at the overall property of Jeepers Creepers it's kind of hard to imagine the fact that they could actually go as far as to butcher such a franchise when it really really shouldn't require rocket science in order to construct a suitable movie that suits all audiences in an objective manner, but unfortunately following the events of Jeepers Creepers 3 and now even with Jeepers Creepers Reborn, that doesn't appear to be the case now with the franchise now does it? So now that we understand that the intellectual property rights have moved away from Victor Salva in now going into the hands of someone else, by proxy there shouldn't really be an issue when creating and constructing a good enough movie now, especially when knowing the fact that we're moving away from Victor and all of the horrible things he's done in the past and now having the opportunity to finally create a universe where the fandom could actually rejoice in getting the films they've always wanted to see for decades now but sadly enough that doesn't appear to be the case because just like with Jeepers Creepers 3 just like with Jeepers Creepers Reborn it all seems to go downhill from here and the problem here lies in direction so I think it's safe to say that universally speaking what made Jeepers Creepers 1 stand out the most within the fandom was seeing how the original first film was able to capture the essence of darkness, the essence of essentially dread in the case in point where our protagonists were up against an entity that they really didn't know too much of, but were conscious enough to understand the ramifications on what would happen if they were to deal with such a creature because despite the creeper having to face overwhelming odds and being surrounded by police, being ran over, being shot multiple times, and even going as far as to lose specific body parts, we from there understood that it really wasn't going to be as easy to put the creeper down as one would imagine, right? But of course, now that concept is thrown out the window, especially following the events of Jeepers Creepers Reborn, in the fact that we now also understand that there are going to be two other additional films following Jeepers Creepers Reborn, which by now fans must be asking the question on is it worth the wait in having to see essentially something follow the events of Jeepers Creepers Reborn, especially after knowing what we know of and after seeing every everything that we saw, we don't need to see anything more like that. Unless, of course, you're comfortable with watching trash, then by all means, go ahead. But for the rest of us who seem to be sane and intact and have a fully functional brain to go alongside with our consciousness, we don't want to see this. And to correct these mistakes moving forward, whatever company, whatever director, whoever is going to be behind a franchise such as Jeepers Creepers needs to properly go as far as to invest in a good writing team. They need to establish the fact that you don't necessarily need a 100 million dollar budget in order to create a blockbuster film but what you need to ought to do is study the lore is study the mannerisms of said characters like the creeper who was a complete joke in jeepers creepers reborn study the product invest within the product in allowing the product to grow into his own for it to make money and hire actors and actresses that can actually perform their duties well enough in a being believable and b being related enough to where you want to invest in these characters, you want to invest within the story, you want to go into a movie such as Jeepers Creepers and essentially root for the creeper to die. Thus was the case in Jeepers Creepers 1, thus was the case in Jeepers Creepers 2, and hell, even then, thus was the case in Jeepers Creepers 3, even though that movie was complete garbage as well. But the creeper had been popularized in Jeepers Creepers Reborn, which again, is something that directly goes against the overall essence and lore of who and what the creeper is because not only did the creeper become a celebrity in Jeepers Creepers Reborn but also he had a cult like following which again was something that we saw happen during the events in the comics with the Mayans, the Aztecs, the Incas, cultures that stem all the way back during those generations but were not living during those eras or those generations no in fact we are in the modern times so therefore with the way the creeper operates it goes against his original character to even have a cult like following to begin with because as an example in the original even if he were to have a cult like following then chances are with that being the case he wouldn't more or less work with them but instead he would more than likely go as far as to eat them right especially when establishing the fact that from the very beginning after the creeper finally woke up from his 23 year slumber he's going to be hungry so therefore why wouldn't he go as far as to eat
eat some of his own cult-like followers that are in his little coven, that are in his circle, right? Because the creeper isn't just going to stop there and go, you know what, you're a part of my little dominion here. I'm just going to spare your life just because you worship me. Absolutely not, right? So if there is going to be a Jeepers Creepers 5, which of course now we know that there is, you need to take the movie serious. You need to take the character serious. You need to invest within the fandom because trust me when I say you don't want to alienate your own fan base that are going out of their own way to pay you money in order to watch a shitty product that you are putting out for your fan base because do you want to know what happens when you keep creating shit? The same fandom that just so happens to consume your product is going to walk away. So in hindsight, you don't want to lose any of your customers so you kind of have to listen to their criticisms, you know what I mean? And no, it's not to insinuate or suggest that the actors, the actresses, the producers, the directors all have malice intent, but I do also firmly believe that they're lazy and they don't want to invest too much because then the question becomes through their perspective, will it be worth it in the end? So I think it will, but only if you were to go back, study the original source material, allow for the lore to remain consistent, unless of course you just want to reboot everything from the very beginning by recasting another Trish and Derry and have Jeepers Creepers 1 take place all over again, then surely enough you can do that, but nowadays people have the experience expectancy for something good when in fact it will ultimately turn out to be shit by the end just like the case in point was made with Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So the prosthetics, the amount of money you want to invest within your product needs to be something to wear that even though the bottom line for a company is to make money, how are you supposed to make money as a company if you're not willing to make the necessary sacrifices in investing within your own product in order that from there to receive a big enough reward and payout for your hard work and sacrifices in seeing and getting a successful property by the end of its run once the movie is of course finalized and completed right because how could a company ever expect to make boatloads of money if they don't invest fully within their product and again it's not to insinuate the fact that the people behind jeepers creepers reborn and even jeepers creepers 3 didn't make the necessary sacrifices or investments to make those movies bangers but it's to insinuate the fact that not enough was done and we saw that that from Jeepers Creepers Reborn, which is essentially why I don't want to see any of this take place during the events of Jeepers Creepers 5 if there were to be one because you can only from there imagine the half-ass effort that would go into Jeepers Creepers 5 if this is what Jeepers Creepers Reborn ultimately turned out to be. So for starters, bring back Jonathan Breck as the Creeper. Why? Because Jonathan Breck seemed to have been, at least to our knowledge right now, the only best person that was able to understand the Creeper's character. Characteristics. When he wanted to make the creeper funny, he made him funny. When he wanted to make the creeper creepy, he made the creeper creepy. When he wanted to make the creeper vicious, he ultimately knew what drove and what made the creeper vicious because it was the way he was presenting the character and what made it stand out among everything and everyone else, right? But even to that, we still have unfinished stories dating back all the way to Jeepers Creepers 2. Jeepers Creepers 3 had left off with an open ending kind of climax to where people were asking so many questions. So so what about that, right? Again, the franchise as of right now is in turmoil. It's a complete mess because everything is all over the place. They want to run with this idea by using CGI and piss poor behind the scenes green screen effects to make a multi-million dollar movie feel as though it's made cheaply. So again, unless you don't want to drive your customers away, you might want to listen to what we have to say. You know what I mean? They left out the original Jeepers Creepers theme song that we saw play out and carry out throughout the first two films. Why did they happen to coincidentally leave that out of Jeepers Creepers Reborn and even Jeepers Creepers 3, right? The song was synonymous. It went hand in hand with the Creeper himself. So why wouldn't you bring that back but instead have a different shittier version of the song be played as a substitute in order to suggest that, hey, we were cheap and we didn't want to buy out the rights for said song. So here's something else even lower in quality instead, right? Which to that, speaking of low quality, look at the way the prosthetics and look at the 
way, the costume and the outfit was portrayed in Jeepers Creepers Reborn for the Creeper. He looked like a complete joke of a character. The Creeper itself, the essence behind the monster, is something to where he's supposed to be unique, he's supposed to be different in design by comparison to your standard Jason, Michael, Freddy characters like that. He is complex by nature because when he happens to lose a body part, he goes as far as to eat someone to grow it back. As such, case in point was with Jeepers Creepers 1, Jeepers Creepers 2, hell, even with Jeepers Creepers 3, but it almost seemingly appeared as though the minute he would even begin to munch on a body part, all of a sudden, just out of thin air, those body parts would just suddenly poof, magically appear, right? Whereas before, at least then it took a little bit of time, at least a few minutes or so, so it kind of felt believable, but here, it just so happened to have manifest out of nowhere within a few seconds, and therefore it felt fake, it felt cheap, and it felt very unwarranted, especially when looking back and seeing the other films in using that as leverage to hold as being the standard for the franchise, right? So hopefully enough, they do end up making drastic changes for this franchise, for this property moving forward, because if Jeepers Creepers 4 is going to be the new standard, then boy, are we in trouble. So again, I want to get your thoughts, your comments, and your suggestions on how to fix Jeepers Creepers down in the comment section below. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. So if, of course, you guys also just so happen to be new to this channel, then I do encourage you all to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon that way you guys never miss a single video that is posted onto the channel on top of giving this video right now a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button if you guys agreed tune back in for more because you can most definitely believe that i have so much more to say about this franchise because i'm a fan of this franchise i love the universe that jeepers creepers had built but ever since the events of jeepers creepers 3 and then moving into reborn things just fell apart i think that wholeheartedly this shouldn't have been the case especially now since a brand new company has the rights to a franchise that i believe could offer and give us so much more than what it is that we're getting now it's sad because the creeper as an entity is unique he's different he's a monster villainous like creature that we haven't seen before since the days of i would argue Pennywise the Clown, Freddy Krueger, entities like that. So he's not your typical slasher. He's not your typical comedian. He's not your typical rootness, tootness villain. He's actually different and he should remain and be different. But by comparison to that, he shouldn't be made to be a jobber. He shouldn't be made to be someone that you can't really take serious. But at the same time, in order to have a good villain, you need to have as a proxy good and strong heroes. And to that, to have good and strong heroes, you need to have a good and strong villain. The Creeper at one point was a good and strong villain. And if you don't present that, but instead have everything be made into a joke and made cheaply, then your franchise is going to fall apart. So again, tune back in for more. This is only the beginning of so much more. And with that being said, I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace.